What's up guys, Mike from Rockville, and today I'm going to show you how to link your wireless DMX lights to the Rockforce W2. So once you have your Rockforce W2 on, you're actually going to want to head over to the wireless DMX power button and turn it on. You'll know it's on because this LED will start flashing in whatever color you are in. Now, I'm actually going to want to pick a color that I can sync my wireless DMX lights from. Now, the way that we set up wireless linking at Rockville is very easy to follow. It's basically just color coding. So on our wireless DMX controller, we're just gonna wanna pick a color that the lights can then just match. So I'm gonna go here and press the wireless ID button until I find a color to match. Let's go with this blue color here. So I'm gonna leave it there on that blue color and then I'm going to turn on my wireless DMX lights, which in this case are the best part 60s. Now, before I go to actually link these wirelessly to the DMX controller, I'm going to want to make sure to set the address. So the DMX address I want to set to in this example is going to be A001, or the first address that the DMX controller can read. So on both of my lights, I'm going to make sure to set them to A001, press enter. And on this one, I'm also going to make sure to set it to wireless DMX A001, now that I know they're both set to DMX address A001, I can begin connecting them wirelessly by finding that same color we chose on our DMX controller on our lights, which in this case was the blue color. So I'm actually going to click the wireless DMX signal button until I see that same dark blue color. So I do that on here, now I'm gonna do it on this light, find that dark blue color, and you'll notice that they actually both start flashing green. And on this one, going to be flashing that dark red which lets us know we're connected. How do we know we're connected? Well, if I go and adjust fader 1, it should be the red color on my lights. And it is. Now, a quick note is that your light might have different DMX channel mode. On this light, it has a 6 channel DMX mode and a 10 channel DMX mode. Depending on what DMX channel mode you set it to will affect what faders control what on your lights. So you always want to make sure you check the owner manual of your lights to know what you're controlling on your DMX controller. So in 6 channel DMX mode on the best par 60s, it's very basic. Each fader from 1 through 6 just controls one of the different colors. So the first fader is going to be red, the second is going to be green, the third is going to be blue, the fourth is going to be white, the fifth is going to be amber, and the sixth is going to be ultraviolet. Now in this scenario, I actually had both of the lights set to the same DMX address of A001, which allows me to control them off of scanner one on the DMX controller. If I wanted to offset that and actually control each of the lights independently, I could set my second light seven DMX addresses apart so that I can then control my second light only when scanner two is selected. That would mean my first light was still set to A001 and my second light was set to A007 since the best par 60s are used in six channel DMX mode. Now since I set this light to DMX address A007 and this light is still set to A001 and they're six DMX channels apart, fader one is only going to control red on this light and fader seven will actually start the red on this light. So using different DMX addresses on your lights gives you independent control over them on your DMX controller. So it's important to keep track of all of the different DMX addresses you might set your lights to, but if you ever want a clean reset, just set all of the lights to the same DMX address of A001. Now you can also connect the Rockforce W2 to your DMX lights with a DMX table. To do that, you're just going to take the male end over here and plug it straight into your DMX controller. Then you're going to take the female end of your DMX cable and plug it into the DMX in on your first light. Now, whether you're connecting wirelessly or through a wired DMX cable, it's all the same practice. So you're just gonna wanna make sure that your light is set to the DMX address A001, which in my case it is, and then fader one should correspond to the red on my light. Now what's really cool is if you're using wireless lights like the best par 60s, even though I'm connected through a wired cable on this light, it's actually transmitting the signal wirelessly to my second light. So you would just need a DMX cable going from your DMX controller 
into your light and then the rest of it will be a wireless connection. So again, I only have a wired physical connection from my Rock Force W2 into this first Best Power 60. But when I actually adjust it, both of the lights change because the signal is being transmitted wirelessly from this light to my second light. So hopefully this video showed you how easy it is to either set up through a wireless connection or a wired connection with your Rock Force W2. But if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support tech team through phone or email. As always guys, I'm Mike from Rockville and I'll see you in the next one.